Hello there, TCCers. I am so excited to be back. If you've not seen my face around here before, I'm Jessica with Hey Jessica, and I am a frequent flyer here on TCC TV. Today, I want to teach you how to use autoresponders in social media platforms. Now, before I really get to the how, let's talk about why. Why might you want to establish this in your business? Well, y'all, it's because who wants to be answering messages and emails and private messages and whatever else from every single platform that we've got going on? We would lose our ever-loving minds. So a way that I use this is that I will put out a blanket statement so that when someone sends me a message, they get this automatic reply that says, hey, I'm super glad you reached out, but I'm unable to keep up with all of the messages in all of the platforms. So if you will send exactly what you just sent me to this email address, I'll get back to you way quicker than I will ever have here. So I use it in a way to filter everything to my inbox so that I don't feel overwhelmed and feel like I'm having to like run this rat race of finding all the messages. All right, so now let's get into the how. How you might do this on each platform and let's go. Okay. So if you want to do direct messages automatically through Instagram, it's a little bit harder than Facebook or some other platforms. And the best service that I've found in my experience and working with other clients is Instazood. <laughs> um, and it is a paid service. I think you get like two or three days for free, um, but it's $9.99 a month for all of this or $14.99 a month for the direct message. So which is what you would want. Now, this is one of those apps where it's going to automatically like a bunch of hashtag posts and automatically comment and unfollow people and all of that, which I don't <laughs> recommend for Instagram strategy. But if a direct message either to your new followers or just to anyone who sends you a message is what you want to do, then it's definitely a good option. Um, so you can definitely do that. All you do is sign up and link your Instagram account, and then you set everything up that way. Okay, so if you want to set up a direct message with Facebook, that's even easier. So you will just go into Facebook and you will go to your page and then you will go in to your settings, which are right up here. And you will go to messaging. And you can set up a response assistant. Um, and right here is the settings for that. So right now, I leave this off. So I don't like let people know that I'm away or anything like that, but I send an instant reply to anyone who messages my page. So I have that ch checked yes, and then I can hit change here. And so like this is what I have it saying. I say like, hey, thanks for contacting me, but please email me because I can't keep up with all these messages basically. You could also have a messenger greeting. So anytime someone opens a messenger, um, with me specifically with Hey Jessica, the page, they will automatically be greeted by this. So then they can choose to go ahead and email me or they could send the message and then they'll get this. So they've been told twice now that I don't want, you know, I don't want messages here. So, you know, it's really good. Um, I think that is one of the best ways to use autoresponders that there is for Facebook and Instagram because that's where we're getting most of our traffic from. There are also ways to set up filters as far as joining groups and things like that, which I will show you next. Okay, as of January 2017, this feature is being dripped out to groups on a trial slash beta basis. So your group may not have it. My group actually does not have it either. So I'm just sort of going to tell you where it is and what it is um, 
so that if your group has it, you can access it. So when you go into your group, this is my podcast group. When you go into your group and you go into this little three thing here and go to edit group settings, this is what you'll see. And right here on this membership approval, if you have this beta feature, you will have a button that basically says, like, ask pending members a question. And you'll be able to set up, I think it's like three to five questions that you can ask anyone who requests to join your group to help you better vet spam or people coming into your group if you have a different, you know, criteria for them joining. So I've seen people use this in a way where they say, like, how long have you been in business? What kind of business do you run? Um, you know, what's your what's your URL? Things like that. So, But that will be right there whenever it is available to you. And I don't know if it's only available to larger groups right now. Um, I have a group that's around 1,600 and a group that, whatever this one is, around, I don't know, um, eight, eight or 900. And it's not available to either, but I have seen it available to groups at 3,000 people and groups at 20,000 and none in between. So it really just depends. I think they just sort of, you know, randomly selected groups that could use it. So eventually that will be available to everybody. And it is a really great way to sort of add an autoresponder to your Facebook group to vet people and even welcome them in just a little bit better. So I hope that helps. And I hope you guys found this really useful and are able to set up autoresponders to make your life easier.